In the late 90s, a Japanese author and entrepreneur, Dr. Masaru Emoto, delved into the realm of water research. His experiments suggested that human consciousness in the form of words, thoughts and intentions can alter the molecular structure of water. His process involved exposing water samples to different words, music or pictures, then freezing them and examining the ice crystals under a microscope. He found that positive words and beautiful music resulted in aesthetically pleasing crystals, while negative words and harsh sounds formed less attractive ones. While Emoto's work has been met with skepticism due to the lack of a peer-reviewed process, it has sparked a wave of interest and further research in the field. The Institute of Noetic Sciences, for instance, conducted a double-blind study suggesting that intention can indeed influence the structure of water. But how does this connect to our health, you may wonder? The human body, after all, comprises of nearly 70% water. If our thoughts can influence water's structure, it's not a significant leap to suggest they might also impact our well-being. Some researchers and holistic health practitioners argue that speaking positively to the water we consume can potentially boost our health. They believe that since water can carry vibrational energy, positively charged words can infuse water with beneficial energy. That energy, when consumed, can then be transferred into our bodies. To summarize, the concept of speaking to water is rooted in the idea that our thoughts and words carry a tangible energy that can alter the physical world, including the water we drink. Despite the controversial nature of this idea, research, though still in its nascent stages, has begun to lend it some credence. Remember, the science of water and consciousness is still a budding field with much left to explore. While we wait for more definitive research, there's no harm in sending a little love to your morning glass of water. After all, the power of positivity is a proven benefit, whether it's directed towards ourselves, others, or even the water we drink. So the next time you fill your glass, consider offering a few kind words. You never know. Your water, and by extension you, might just be better for it.